welcome back i am niharika and today we are going to look at some types of shops that is some english vocabulary related to different types of shops or stores huh that's simple right if i have to go buy toys for little children then i go to a toy shop if i have to buy books then i go to a bookstore or if i have to buy some nice shoes then i go to a shoe shop well that's easy so then what's there to learn well for english learners we do have some english vocabulary that's related to different types of shops that you definitely need to know when you are learning english so here are few of them and hope it's helpful to you so let's get started the first one is a butcher's shop so a butcher's shop is a shop that sells meat and poultry and sometimes fish too but selling fish is pretty rare but mainly they are into meat products and poultry so the next time you are about to cook some good chicken then you need to first go to a butcher's store or a butcher's shop where you can go buy some chicken okay so butcher store is where you go buy some meat meat products and poultry and sometimes fish the second one is fish mongers now as i said that in a butcher shop it's very rare that you would find fish so where would you end up going to buy fish well you would end up going to a fish monger a fish mongers well a fish monger is a person who sells fish but fish mongers is a shop that sells fish many people just end up saying oh i'm just going to go to the fish man and buy some fish okay that's wrong the correct word that you can use is i'm just going to go to the fish mongers store to buy some fish okay then the third one is florists now florists is a shop that sells beautiful flowers that you can gift it to someone and these little decorative plants well not big huge plants but very little uh decorative plants that you end up gifting it to someone um so gifting flowers is a very sweet gesture so the next time you want to end up buying some flowers maybe for your girlfriend for your wife or for your mom then you would end up going to a florist okay then the fourth one over here is a convenience store well a convenience store is a little shop that is located um in a residential area and it's a shop that's open for long hours so um of course you end up getting all kinds of items um you would get food items you would get um household items you would get some cleaning materials then you would also end up getting magazines newspapers so it's a small store that ends up um, keeping all kinds of products a variety of products which is very convenient for a person who lives there and it's mainly located in a residential area okay so a small store located in a residential area and keeps variety of products now uh, in many countries it's also called as the corner so store or a corner shop so either it's corner shop or it's a convenience store okay then the next one is tobacconist so if you are a smoker you know what kind of store is this well a tobacconist is a store where you can buy tobacco tobacco products and cigarettes so as i mentioned if you're a smoker the next time you're going to go buy 
a secret for yourself, you're gonna go to a tobacconist. So tobacconist is a shop that sells tobacco and cigarettes. Okay, now let's have a look at the next one here that's a confectionery store. Well, a confectionery store, uh, well, they sell assorted sweets and treats. It's mainly targeted to little kids because kids love eating candies and sweets and pastries. So, confectionery store mainly sells assorted sweets and treats. Now, in many countries, uh, a confectionery store has different names. Uh, for example, a sweet shop is uh, in UK. Okay, in UK, people call it as a sweet shop. Uh, in US, people call it a candy store. And in Australia, it's called as a lolly store. Interesting, right? So, you know, the next time you have to go buy lots of chocolates and lots of sweets, you go to a confectionery store. Let's have a look at this side over here. We have Green Grocers. Now, Green Grocers is a shop that mainly sells fruits and vegetables. So it's mainly fruits and veggies only. You would not end up finding um, any other products, like you would not end up finding candies or you would not end up finding magazines or newspapers. Green Grocers mainly sells fruits and fresh veggies. And please do eat fruits and veggies because that's really good for health. So do visit a green grocer almost every day. The next one over here is a grocery store. Grocery store is where you end up buying groceries. Now groceries, well here when you talk about a grocery store, um, they primarily sell food items. Now there are grocery stores so, which also sell different kind of products, but primarily they sell food items. Um, so be it uh, bread, be it uh, fruits and veggies, or uh, be it chocolates, crackers, and so on. So it's mainly food items. That's a grocery store. Next one is a bakery. Well, I'm sure we all know what is a bakery. Bakery is a shop that sells baked food. So be it cakes, be it bread, uh, be it uh, cookies, my favorite. So all these things you will find it uh, at a bakery. So when the next time you have to go buy cookies or breads, different types of breads, or you have to buy some pastries, then you end up going to a bakery. So they sell baked food items. Okay, the next one is pharmacy. Well, pharmacy is uh, a store or is a shop that sells prescribed or non-prescribed medicines. Now, the word pharmacy, um, a pharmacy is a store, of course, and it's in America where they call it as a pharmacy. Okay, but in different countries, it has different names again. So in the US, it's pharmacy, but in UK, it's called as a drugstore. So again, a pharmacy or a drugstore is where you end up finding prescribed or non-prescribed medicines. Okay. Then the next one is a department store. A department store is um, a large retail establishment. Uh, well, why it's called as a department store? Because when you walk in that big store, it's huge, uh, something like Walmart. Now, Walmart is a department store. So when you walk into a department store, it's huge and it has different sections. So they sell a variety of products. Uh, they sell furniture, toys, cosmetics, food items, 
uh, dairy items and I mean I can just go on and on it's a department store it's huge and you end up buying lots of stuff hmm, it gets a little heavy on your pockets too so a department store is again um, it has different names in different countries it's also called as hypermarkets it's called hypermarket or it's called a big box store okay or a department store so that's department store for you and then let's have a look at the last one here that's an antique shop an antique shop is a shop where you end up uh, buying you know old valuable vintage items so probably uh, you know you go for furniture shopping and you end up going to an antique shop so you would not end up finding uh, really fancy stuff but you would end up uh, finding some beautiful valuable old furniture so that would be an antique shop a shop that sells old valuable or vintage items okay so these are the types of shops for you so as I said it's not simple it's not a toy shop book shop shoe shop it's different so hope these are words are helpful to you and next time when you are talking about it you can use it confidently I'll be back with a new lesson soon until then you take care and have a great day